Christian reflection surrender as we all know this uh, song the wind beneath my wings we can ask our lord yes lord beneath the shadows in the uh, footsteps in my shadows you are walking with me you are unnoticed yet you are in my heart and uh, you are the wind beneath my wings you help me fly high so high that i can touch the sky and have a better life lord you are with me and you have been my helper my good shepherd my way truth and life for this i thank you thank you what needs to die within me so that new life can bloom what am i risking in my life at this time what prayer is arising in me right now to learn to love is to be stripped of all love until you are wholly without love because until you have gone naked and afraid into that cold dark place where you are fully abandoned rejected where all love is taken from you you will never know that you are wholly within love true love is to accept your crosses go beyond beliefs and approval as we can see this image christ is the cornerstone of our lives he was bended beneath the cross the heavy cross he fell three times and even more yet he is the foundation stone of our passion narrative as per the gospel of saint mark and when the sixth hour had come darkness fell over the whole land until the ninth hour and at the ninth hour jesus cried with a loud voice elo elo lama sabatani which means my god my god why have you abandoned me and some bystanders listening were saying behold he calls elijah but someone running up having filled a sponge with vinegar having placed it on the reed gave it to him to drink saying permit me let us see if elijah comes to uh, take him down but jesus after letting out a loud cry expired and the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom and the centurion who stood opposite him seeing that he had died in this way said truly this man was a son of god and there were also women who were there watching from a distance among whom were mary magdalene and mary the mother of james the younger and of jose and salome and when he was in galilee were following him and were serving him and many other women who had come up with him to jerusalem let us reflect on this passage it was a stormy environment where there was uh, abandonment now since uh, jesus was holding the sins of all the world god's time to defeat all evil through jesus there's openness to the newness to life itself it was like a dead end i resign i give it to you lord continue loving even if it's very difficult even if i'm misunderstood in the storms and the darkness in the cruelty of life the devil comes out but this transformation of humanity you exercise the world from satan that's why jesus lets out a loud cry and the temple uh, curtain is torn into two so nothing can separate us now from god heaven is like torn open in at baptism for god is eager to come to humanity to hold us in his hand and a gentile centurion says that this is the son of god which means that the truth is now even visible to the gentile and this is like a baptism Our Lady is not mentioned here, but in the depths of Jesus, there is risk of disapproval, disbelief, money. There is real courage to rethink, change, stretch, living with, falling into deeper understanding of God. Wait for prayers to be answered, willing to allow God to use us, even though we may be forsaken, sick, lonely, failure, mock, soaking into that love and presence of the Beloved, even at the dead bed. when we have no experience of god and we feel nothingness we totally surrender to the mystery of god for god is now present in a new way a larger way even though we cannot desire freedom from the cross for cross is chosen for all the christians we can accept god's plan for our lives in these dark moments and surrender the parable love is invincible facing danger and death passion laughs at the terrors of hell the fire of love stops at nothing it sweeps everything before it flood waters can't drown love torrents of rain can't put it out love can't be bought love can't be sold it's not to be found in the marketplace based on the song of song the steadfast love of the lord is patient caring nurturing helping this is the parable the story of i my soul and god this is the earthly story with a heavenly meaning a lesson all is a gift to us how to grow in love and relationship with god and search more and you will find more of god in your life